Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been a while since the last time I did the tutorial. So today I'm not gonna let this pass. I'm gonna teach you how to paint a hibiscus flower and I will, I will make it simpler or as simple as possible. So I chose a red hibiscus flower so that we're not gonna be using a lot of colors, just red and shades of it. So yes, let's begin now. I've already um, sketch my hibiscus so if you want to trace this one I'm gonna reposition my camera again and you can pause the video right now take a screenshot and yeah save it on your phone on your device or on your computer and just to make it clear guys I'm not I'm not uh, uh, asking you to copy my work by actually you know the just copying me i want you to learn how to do this on your own so there's a huge difference for me if uh some people think that following a tutorial meaning like just copying the tutorial well that's not the whole point of this tutorial i'm actually teaching you how to paint <laughs> or how to get some skills in painting of course if you want to create another painting based on this tutorial. You can do that, but I really hope that the lessons that you've learned from my tutorials will be applied in some of your artworks. So, <laughs> so let's begin now, guys. Yay! <laughs> so let me tell you first the colors that I'll be using for today's painting. We have red, cad, oh yes, cad yellow, titanium white, um, phthalo green, black, and yeah that's it i might use a little bit of orange later but i'll just combine red and yellow or if you have orange then it's 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 good all right so i'm gonna underpaint first my flower <laughs> i'm gonna get my red i'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to that so that it's quite dark and begin underpainting it So just use black and red. Okay. Like this. All right. And then this time I'm gonna use just red. This is just the underpainting. So just use red, this this uh, petal for this petal. I mean. Now add black to it. Add tiny bit of black to it, and we're gonna go dark again. Okay, darker guys. The light, I mean the light um, shades and the dark shades, will suggest folds, and. The presence or absence of light okay just get your red this time and it's okay if the black is mixing with your red because um, again we're painting a natural subject so the contamination of the colors uh, is actually um, good <laughs> visually all right so just get your dark red now so I'll be alternately using my dark reds and just plain red. So when I say I'm just using red, it means I'm not mixing black with it. And if I say dark red, it means I'm adding black. So, so that I don't have to uh, hold my palette every time I tell you the colors. I'm just gonna mention as I go. So here I'm gonna apply some dark reds. And then plain red. This is just underpainting, guys. Okay, go to your plain red. I mean, use your plain red. Oh, 
Oops, the black is mixing, but then again, it's all right. Okay, plain red. Okay, plain red again. Okay, just plain red. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to water down my reds and apply more reds here just to complete the picture all right like that here all right like this again plain red all right now i want you to get your black Get your black and we're not washing the brush so that the red's still there. We're gonna go inwards. I'm trying to create the depth. Okay, again, black. All right, I'm going to make some red to my black here. And again, this is the underpainting, so we'll be going back to it later. Okay, I'm going to add more black to my red. I'm going to darken this side or this area of the petal. Again, get your red. Okay, get your black now. Okay, like that. All right, wash your, oh, okay, you can wash your brush out or just remove the, like too much black. Get your red and I'll finish this part. This looks like unfinished to me. All right, and then pull in. I'm gonna extend that here. All right, like that. <laughs> Not yet done. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish this part. Doesn't seem like it's done. Just get your red. Okay, get your mm, quite dark red. Just cover it properly. Okay, like that. All right, that's basically, actually we're not yet done. Get your dark red. Finish this part. Just finish that one. All right. I'm just going to make some changes. Hmm, that's quite dark. Okay. 
All right. We've actually color blocked the hibiscus flower now. So what I'm gonna do next is do the background. So we'll be coloring the background gray because the contrast between red and gray is perfect. They're just perfect. So get your white and then get your black to create some gray color like this and add a tiny bit of red, not too much though. So that um, the red theme is still there just a tiny bit of red. It's not very dominating. Okay, and then color the background with this color. If you want the gray background, but I want the gray background. <laughs> if you want something else, I don't know, maybe plain black, it's all right, you can do that. You can do whatever background you want. Okay. Okay, again, just mix your gray, add a tiny bit of red. So it's like pinkish grayish, pinkish grayish color. Sometimes I do the background first, but if the sub I think I've explained this before in my previous video, if the background is smaller or it does not occupy, occupy a lot of space compared to the subject, then I do the background last or later than the subject. So just close it. You can even do a, an abstractish background. It's up to you. It's up to you guys. Okay. Here. Just be careful not to overpaint our flower. Overpaint meaning painting over. <laughs> okay. Again, just close those gaps with the background color. Okay. Here. Okay, if you're having problems with going in between those petals, um, we can paint over that. We can actually fix that quite easily. There's really no problem. At least the main uh, shape of the flower is already right in front of us. Okay, so the background is done. Okay, you can, you can um, make it as solid as you want. Right? Okay, like that. Okay, wash your brush out now. We're gonna go into some shading. So, wait guys, I'm gonna, just gonna drink my, my cup of coffee. So we're just gonna wait for it to dry a bit while I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to get my red color. This red. I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow so that it's quite orangey color. All right. Like this. Make sure it's quite orangey. So that you know you can actually um, differentiate it from the usual reds. So I'm gonna apply this orangey color. Oh, sorry. This orangey color here. 
Okay, the gray background is mixing. But it's all right because I really don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, and then pull in the colors like that. And add more yellow so that it's more orangey. I want you to pull in like from the outside to the inside like that. And yeah, apply some orangey color because this is where the light is striking. That's why it's quite lighter in terms of color. All right, and then I'm gonna color this area. Okay, get more yellow, red, tiny bit of white just to make it like more visible. I'm gonna go inside, not inside, but this corner okay and then get your red okay plain red we're gonna be playing with a lot of colors or a lot of shades of red and then make some markings like this because this will serve as the folds okay here add more red Okay, more reds. Right here. These are just folds. Okay, here, up here. Just use red because it's quite dark. So the highlight should not be too bright should follow the rule of light all right okay now i'm gonna get again this orangey color i'm gonna add a tiny bit of red i'm gonna go inside and make this a little brighter Okay, now I'm gonna get again this orangey color. Gonna add a tiny bit of white. Just gonna highlight it. quite light okay like that okay all right wash your brush out now okay I'm gonna get a smaller brush so that I can go uh, I can really go into some small details Where's my small brush? Okay, got it. Just gonna get, okay. What's your brush? Okay, I'm gonna get my red. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna get my, sorry, I'm gonna get my red. I'm gonna add white. It's like pinkish color right like this and i'm gonna dry brush actually here and of course you can use your fingers to blend it well again pink color Right. 
I'm gonna use this pinky color here as well. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna add more here. Okay, here. It's very subtle, but it should be there. You know that? Okay, now I'm gonna make some orangey color. Like that. I'm going to highlight the ends or the edges of the petals or at least for this petal. Okay. Now I'm going to get my reds. I'm just going to go over this this pinky area so that the pink does not really, you know, like appear weird. Okay, I'm gonna get my black again. Alright, okay, wash your brush out. Then get your red again. You can mix it with a tiny bit of yellow or orange as long as it's quite as long as it's quite visible. So I'm gonna add more yellow. It's not visible. Alright, I'm gonna go here. Okay, get your red again. Okay, I'm going to fix this area. Making it um, irregular, really. Alright, wash your brush out. Now, while I'm still waiting for it to completely dry. Oh, well. I'm going to get my red and then black. Red and black, so dark red. I don't have to say it, right? Okay, I'm just going to make some more folds here. Again, when I say dark red, I'm just adding black to my red. You can add brown, but I choose I choose black. It's much easier and more manageable for me. Okay, I'm going to get my black and I'm just going to glaze this part of the flower because it's not being reached by the light so it's really dark like this all right now i'm gonna make some suggestions of leaves and a stem so i'm gonna get my green okay i'm gonna add or mix it with yellow i think i need more yellow So to make some yellow greeny color. Okay, you can add a tiny bit of white to make it more visible. And these are just suggestions of leaves. Okay, like that. Here. Okay, I'm gonna add more white to my green. And make it make some dark greens okay get your black your black gonna make some dark brown so I'm gonna mix it with some reds okay. not too red should be a little brownie okay. 
like that. Okay, wash your brush out. So I would like to fix that area here. I'm gonna get my yellow and some reds. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this. I really want this to be highlighted. Okay, I'm gonna get my dark red, so red plus black. And I'm just gonna go around the petals. I think this is quite dark, but it's all right because I usually use my, my hand or my palm or my fingers to blend the colors really well. So I'm just gonna make some outlines, but not hard lines, you know that? There's a huge difference. I just want the shape of the petals to be visible. I don't want them to be like cartoonish outline. Again, there's nothing wrong with cartoonish. I am not against that. It's just that it's not my style for this painting. We're not after that at this moment. I'm gonna get my red. Okay, dark red to define it even more. Like that. Okay, dark red, just define. Right here. Okay, again, dark red. Like that. Okay. Wash your brush out. I have to fix something. So get your red and tiny bit of yellow and go here and extend it a bit inside and go down right, like that. Okay. get your black Wash your brush out. And now get a sip of your coffee. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get my red color. I mean, sorry, my white. <laughs> my white. We're going to make some highlights. Highlights because uh, hibiscus um, petals are quite shiny. So when the light strikes the flower, it creates some um, 
highlights. It reflects the light. Okay, make some pink. Okay, again, get your white here. Okay. Okay, get your black plus red. Oops, sorry. And define the petal. Like that, and I'm gonna make some more uh, reg uh, irregular markings from the center so that it really creates that natural look. Then I'm gonna darken this area. Okay. Make some irregular markings. Don't make any hard lines. Okay, wash your brush out. If my camera is like too like bright, right? It's too bright. I'm gonna shade, I'm gonna glaze it later with some gray color, guys. But again, coffee. All right. I think I ran out I ran out of red so I'm gonna get my red now. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna get my red. Oh sorry, that's a lot of black. I'm gonna get my red and black. So don't use pure black this time. And we're just gonna highlight where the, what is that? Pistil? That part of the flower. Like the long, um, where the pollens are. Pistil, right? Oh gosh, I have to check. <laughs> I have to check if that's pistil. Anyway, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna write it in the description down below. <laughs> All right, so dark red. And you can use that to um, define as well this petal. Okay, fix that. Okay, now get your plain red, maybe add a tiny bit of yellow to that. Okay, 
make sure it's still red not not too orangey although it's already colored red you might as well paint it again so that it adds a little uh, another layer okay get your black while you still have your red on your paintbrush make some dots like this and darken some areas on this part all right okay get your red again and black and okay make some mm, like that get your red and make some markings to suggest some little what are, what are, what are these where the pollens are attached so like that okay now I'm gonna get my yellow and add a tiny bit of red to make it a little orangey or brownie if there's brown I'm gonna make some like pollen like or dots like this Hey, wash your brush out now. Okay, I still have this yellow. So I'm gonna highlight this petal. With that color. Very subtle, oh, just subtle guys. Don't mm, make it like yellow, just subtle. Subtle hints of yellow. And we're gonna okay add red to our yellow add white and we're gonna glaze this petal because this is where the light uh, actually is striking so I'm adding white and of course I'm using my hand to blend it and to glaze it in fact Also here. And here. Here. All right, like that. Okay, now I want you to get some, again, your gray color. So get your red, your white, and your black to make some pinky gray, not too pinky, mm, just enough just to say that there's some hints of red okay and we're gonna lighten the background it's kind of dark so I'm just gonna reapply some of that color here yeah I find that my background is quite dark so I'm lightening it
Mm. Yep, it is. In here. Maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. Because it's too it's too pink. It should be grayish pink, not not pink. Okay, I'm going to go here and go along the edges of the suggestions of leaves because I don't want this to be the main focus of the painting, only suggestions. It's like blurry, blurrying it. that okay Okay, wash your brush out. Now I'm thinking if my light is quite like too bright. Okay, wait guys. I'm gonna try to adjust this one. Mm. Okay, maybe that one. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, wait, coffee. So I'm gonna get my reds again. I'm gonna get my red. And I'm gonna glaze over this petal because it's quite weird to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, again, you're red. Just glazing it. Okay, I'm gonna make this quite irregular. It's weird. Okay, like 
face. Again, we got your red. Sure, Ed. Okay, make that like a fold. your black and red. Okay, again, black and red. Okay. some yellow orange oh sorry sorry red orange Okay, red and black. Make some more details. Okay, get some pink, so red plus white, like this color, add more red, then go back to some areas. Okay.
Okay, get more red. Add yellow. Make some more highlights. Okay, get your red. So it's all about, as you can see, I've, I'm just alternating colors like yellow, red, orange, sometimes black, but yeah, we're not really using a lot of different colors, just a lot of shades though. Okay, get your black plus red. Just make this portion a little darker because the light is not reaching this area that much. Okay, get your black. Okay, that's too black. How is it? <laughs> So I'm just gonna let it dry um, for a moment and we're almost done but I have to highlight uh, highlight <laughs> the petal I mean the pollen so I'm gonna add yellow white okay make some bright dots so that we're really highlighting it you know to make it more um, like realistic like that I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown so just mix red and black and go the center you can use just plain black if you want All right. gonna get some Red and white. Let's do make some highlights.
Right, so I'm going to get some red and yellow. Okay, now I'm just highlighting this area. How's it? Alright, so I'm gonna get now okay, some red and yellow here. again just color or just define the flower right. gonna get my red I have to glaze now guys so I'm gonna get my white and this might be a tricky um, yeah like that so I'm actually glazing it with white this part because I want it to be quite brighter You can actually go back to your leaves if uh, you really want to focus on that. Mm, I'll, I'll be fixing some things but not to focus on, on it so much because these are just suggestions by the way. 
So I'm going to make it appear like blurry. Okay, like that. can add white. That. You know, these are just suggestions. You can actually remove it if you want. Oops. Hey guys. See that? I'm gonna have to delete that. Okay. All right. This is just water, guys. I'm just, yeah, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure red. Just gonna go over this um, lower portion of the flower or the lower petals. I'm just gonna make it quite dark because I it's not too dark it should be dark because um, it's the innermost portion of the flower Just adding some reds, removing the hard lines. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just glazing. Okay, then I have decided now. I can get my white or whatever color that you want that's in your palette. All right, sign it. Okay. Wait, guys. <laughs> Just have to make some more shading. I don't want it to look flat. Okay. Get more white. Okay, get some more red. And is this part?
I'm just gonna fix this part. Kings. Okay. Red and black. Add some orange color. I'm sorry guys, I thought we were done, but we aren't yet. Not yet. I thought so. Right. So I just keep coming back to areas that need some more highlighting. Yeah. Yes. I think we're done. Yay! We're done, guys. Yay! So thanks for watching. I'm gonna link down below um, the previous hibiscus painting tutorial that I did, so that you know you can paint two flowers. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. And of course, hmm? <laughs>